Lee? Yes? What was all that swearing about that you just did? All I want to do, look, continue. What are you doing? Trying to check out of Asda online shop and it's just hanging. I don't know if it's Tinterweb or their site or whatever. We've already established that Asda's thing is shit on your iPad. But you were saying some naughty language, weren't you? Possibly. Hmm. Lee, have a guess what? What? You're gonna, you have to retie my bandana. Okay. Your hair's not really growing much, is it? Look. <laughs> still, still a cold bunt. <laughs> I've got something really exciting soon. Got something really exciting for tomorrow. I'm not going to do it now because it won't be cold enough, but we're going to have a beer o'clock with Paula to Woodnome again tomorrow because I got something special that I used to have when I was a youngster and we found some. I'm so happy. What else is that? Lee's going to let me have my birthday present. Oh. Did you ever say something then? What's she saying? Is she swearing again? I said bum chickens. That's all I said. I'm doing oh. the wrong thing on the wrong thing. I've lost, tra I've lost track of what I was doing now. Because of Lee's naughty language. Bye. You said around you, boom. A no, I didn't. Say, no, you've let the oh. chicken out of the bag now. <sighs> <sighs> now I remember what I was trying to say before Lee was interrupting me. I was saying I'm really excited because Lee's letting me open my birthday present. Well, I. That's what I was talking yeah. about. Oh, yeah. Because I've got something new. But I'm not going to show you till tomorrow. We'll open it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so excited. Bye. <laughs> Lee's trying to blame me because she's broken her seat. And she's trying to say, well, I sat in it once, so I must have broke it. What were you saying about this not being... Well, it wasn't even when it went on. It looked, I looked lopsidedly. On head. No. I've got, I have got quite a big head. You could help by holding it in the middle, please. Oh, what, up here? Yes. Yeah, but I'm trying to hold the camera, Lee. I'll have to put the camera down, boy. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> I'll tell you. It's very muggy out here tonight. I reckon we're going to have a storm. Whew. Can you feel it on your chest? I can feel something on my chest, Lee. Bye. You after the rats? You getting the rats? Have you seen the rats, Hector? Have you got them? Where's the rats? Get them! See them off! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you come and see where the water's coming out? Because I have to hold it. So where's all the water going? Oh, just in the ground. It'll just soak in, won't it? Yeah, there's a hell of a lot of water coming through there, darling. Hector, you'll drown yourself in the water that I'm pumping in. It's not coming out, so I don't know where it's going. It's very confusing, isn't it, Hector? But we'll get them rats. Get them rats. Right then, in all seriousness, can anyone work this out? Right, the hose is going there and it's on full chat. And the other end of the hole that we thought it was, if you look here, you can see that brick there. That's where the other hole is. And there's no water coming out of anywhere. What's going on? It's like it's disappearing, isn't it, Hector? It's all too much, I say. Bye. Hey. I think I've got a bit moist. Look at you. I tell you, have you, have you ever been moist? <laughs> I got attacked by the hose, didn't I, Hector? <laughs> so did he. He's, he's wiggling around. <laughs> on the floor because he got soaked as well i still don't know where all that water's gone but um i got attacked by it what are you saying are you saying something behind my head i said i don't know hmm. that's where some of it got <laughs> it's nothing like being a wet being a bit wet on a thursday is it <laughs> a, a, a little update on me bum by the way it was really like a, a really a shout. It's the whole marina will hear you well, that's okay. They all know about me, me double-knotted balloon. 
I tell you, it did feel like a double knotted, badly knotted balloon knot. But now I've had relief because we got, what did we get? Germaloids. Not oh, cream. Hey, you boy, I didn't um, know. What's it called? Not cream. Ointment, I say. It, it was for pigs. Oinkment. Little joke there, brightening up your first evenings. It's not funny if you have to explain it. Well, yeah, but I stuck it up my butthole and now my um, blue knot feels a lot less taut, I would say. I think I might have a good night's list. You're not even going to do it with the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> it's all too much, boy. Hello everyone, it's Friday! And you know I'm really excited, don't you? Because what I said last night, not about the balloon knot, but about me opening uh, my present from Lee. So I've got the package here. I'm such a bugger, aren't I, having me present for uh, present early? But she knows what I'm like. I knew it was here. So, now there's a reason I'm opening this, because this is going to be something to do with a little, what do we call it? A little mini series that's going to be on this channel. So what have we got then? What is it? That's a diamond ceramic whetstone. A pocket one. Has that anything to do with it? <laughs> Look what I've got! I've got, what is it? A, a, a Mora knife ger Gerber. Is it? Yeah, something like that. It's a knife for bushcrafting because we're going to be doing a little learning to bushcraft with Paulus the Wood Gnome at the little mini series. And it's not because I know anything at all about bushcraft. I thought it might be a bit of a laugh, right? For while I'm learning bushcraft and I watch all these YouTube videos, then I'll try and do it and see how much of a mess I can make of it. So I thought that might be a bit of a laugh. Oh, there's a few little bits and bobs here. I don't know what they all are. Let's just put them out of the way. Garberg, that's it. A Mora knife Garberg. And there it is. And this is a proper bushcrafting knife. And it's supposed to be sharp, so we see if it'll cut me hairs. Well, not really. It does a little bit. What about cutting a piece of paper? Because this is what they're supposed to do, but they do say they don't come absolutely razor sharp out of the box. Yeah, it sort of cuts it, but not great. Not as it should. Oh yeah, it does. There it goes. Yeah, it cuts it. So yeah, so that's sharper than the other knife. But this is, uh, as I say, for bushcraft. And it do some feather sticking and making fires because you can whack a flint off this and it will spark. But that's for another day. So yeah, so that's going to be a bit of a laugh. Learning the bushcraft with Paul as a wood gnome, I say. <laughs> Here's a little logo. Bye. This ain't the weather we ordered, was it? I don't even know if you're in vision. It's be windy. In view. It's below 20 degrees. Is it? Well, it was a minute ago. It's probably a bit above that now, 20 odd. It's all right in the sun, but it's just windy. Aye. Oh, hasn't really been a lot to film the last couple of days, to be fair. But I have had a little go with a knife. Let me show you. Now, I didn't play with my new knife. I didn't want to ruin that one. I've also got a Gerber, which I've had for a while. It's a bit blunt. I tried to sharpen it. Ain't very sharp. I need a strop. I always get in a strop, you know. <laughs> but I made a tent peg. There you go. Don't know whether you can see that. Now all we need is a tent. Well, I just wanted to make one, but of course, I also got an injury. So there's the first injury there. Because <laughs> I was too impatient, bye. Right then, let's hope it's not too windy out here. Because it is a, it's really horrible. I hate wind in the summer. It's just all too much, I say. Anyway, it's beer o'clock with Paul as Wood, though, as promised. Even though Lee let the chicken out of the bag, so to speak. Today we've got something quite interesting. We've got something that I used to have, I used to drink a fair bit when I was um, probably in my 
twenties, I guess, early nineties, well, mid nineties, I suppose, when I was in the band. And uh, it used to be on tap in quite a few places, uh, proper draft beer and all that lot. And then it just absolutely disappeared. Now Steve Duff is watching this. He'll he'll laugh when I show you what this beer is. It's a Rangy Boom, a Rangy Boom. It's a lager, not a tune. It's a Dutch lager, I say. From the from the Orange Army. Most <laughs> of the Orange Army. I tell you, it's getting windy again. It's all too much. I'm trying to film, can't. They just stopped the wind for a bit. It was to do with the House of Orange many, many years ago, 1671. And it's actually a really quite a nice lager. It's 5% proof. And it's better than a lot of this nasty nonsense we get now, which is over-processed. This is barley malt, oh, barley wheat and malt. Barley wheat, what's that? <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, nice golden beer, nothing special about the colour. It's, it's quite nice. It, to me, this is similar to, it's like a cross between a Dutch beer and a German beer, if that makes sense. It's got that little tang. And it's quite beautiful. Let me tell you, there's been a revelation. Where we found this was in Booker's, which is the people that sell holes. What is it, Lee? A wholesaler. And um, it's been a revelation because there's so many different beers we can try. We've got proper Czechoslovakian Budweiser, the proper stuff, not that American piss. Here, people in America, why do you drink Budweiser? It's just piss. It's nasty stuff. Well, it's not nasty. I drink it at a squeeze, you know. But it's like a teenager's beer, isn't it? It's like light and weird. It's weird. What's this with light beers in America? And what's it with freezing your glasses? When I went over there, I remember having a, a, a beer. I went to drink it. I mean, I my mean, lips nearly stuck to the glass. It was all too much, I say. Yes, yeah, so we got. We might have a lot of choices of lager because we're going to Booker's more now because it ends up actually a bit cheaper and the same, more choice. So there you go, that's a windy Paul of Wood Gnome have a beer with me. Or is it called Beer O'Clock with Paul of Wood Gnome? Who knows, bye. Dilly dilly. Here, here, <laughs> have a look at this. She's probably going to have the sun in the way, but just look at this. She looks like a smurf. Oh, what the hell are you doing, Lee? It's windy. <laughs> it's nice and warm in the sun, but then when the wind got up... So, oh, I need to show everyone my lovely new t-shirt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you might have to turn round, Lee, so we can get some light going on. Because oh, we're shooting into the light. Rhododendron. <laughs> It's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah. I'll tell you. <laughs> it's funny when you're doing that, it looks like you're going to flash your chinelles. You know, you want to. Flashes yours. Yeah. Well, yours are a bit better than mine. <laughs> Marginally. Bye. Bye. Good evening. This is Beer O'Clock with the Lady Gnome. <laughs> this evening, I'm having a tasty, refreshing brew. What is that like? Refreshing tasty brew. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> Capri's. I do like Capri's, and I forgot that they sold it in B&M. So uh, when we were there last time, I bought some premium Irish ale made in the UK to an Irish recipe. And it's got fun, one of those funny widgety, widgety, digity things. light to medium colour. <laughs> a nice golden blonde, I would say. Look at that. Ooh, wait for it to settle for a few moments. <laughs> and a few moments more. <laughs> dilly dilly. Can't wait. Dilly dilly. We've run off to the naughty bench because it's raining. 
but he's just closed the hatch. Don't bite my slippers! <laughs> <laughs> Got them. He's so obedient. <laughs> Hector, up! Hector! Come on, don't be a cock. Are you being mighty? No, he's being a dickhead. That's really nasty. Did you hear it? what she just called my beautiful dog? Hector, where's the rats? Where's the rats? Where's the rats? See him off. Where's the rats? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Whatever happened to global warming? Do you remember when they used to call it global warming? Well, it's bloody it, getting towards the end of June. It's freezing, it's windy, and it's raining. So, and then they called it, what do they call it now? Climate change, I say. And have a guess what's made me laugh today. It's change. Yeah, but Lee, tell, I'll tell you what has made me really laugh today. I saw on Twitter that old Greta Thunderbird is at Glastonbury. Oh, do you think she's going to tell all those messy bastards to clear up all their shit afterwards? I wonder how she got there. <laughs> Did she go there on a bamboo bicycle or something? <laughs> what do you think? She's another fucking hypocrite, let me tell you. Another little twat. Bye. Here's something I wondered um, if you non narrow boaters. Well, I fucked that up. Shall I start <laughs> again? Yeah. <laughs> Have a guess what? For those that don't know about canal boating and all that sort of our alternative lifestyle living on took canal every year we have to pay like a road tax for the canals so now on our on my car it's a couple of hundred quid if that if you've got a, a nice economical car or electric you'd have to pay naff all now remember we've only got a small boat relatively small 45 footer we've just had the bill to come through for a year just to be on floating, just to float on the water, is over £900. I know there's a lot of people out there think, oh, well, that, that's not bad value. It's atrocious value, in my opinion. <laughs> the amount of clothes and all that sort of stuff, not that it affects us because we just float in the marina most of the time, but I do think it is very expensive. Um, so, yeah, that's something you have to take into consideration if you're thinking about living aboard a boat. So you have that, you have your insurance, which isn't actually as bad as you would think. I think, what is ours, a couple of hundred? Yeah. A couple of hundred quid. I don't even know what that covers us for, to be honest with you. <laughs> but you're supposed to have a whole survey, survey every five years. Well, we've never had one since we got the boat, I'll tell you. Don't tell anyone. We tried. But he was yeah, we did try. And then all the convid nonsense went off. And uh, they do owe us a lift out, actually, here. And they owe us a water pump. <laughs> I tell you, it's all too much. So yeah, sometimes things aren't as they seem. So you pay, a lot of you pay nothing for your road tax, maybe a hundred or two hundred pound at most. And for our little boot, we pay nine hundred plus. And I tell you what, I bet you within the next two years that touches a grand. Pricing us out, I say. Pricing us out. They don't want us living off grid. I'm telling you, they don't want us living off grid. Bye. That smells quite spicy, Lee Lawson. Yes, spicy going curry. That's what it is. So spicy. I changed my t-shirt so my new t-shirt didn't smell. I'd only put these dog walking trousers on because it was cold. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I wonder how many other people use scissors for cutting chicken. It's so much easier. <laughs> Now for the paste. This one I prepared earlier. <laughs> Do 
you just put boiling water in the pouch? A, a tiny, tiny little bit just to get it, it all out. It really smells quite rambunctious. Rambunctious? Mm. Is that nice or not? Not nice. A bit grim. Yeah, that, the paste always does smell a bit weird. <laughs> There's a joke there somewhere pertaining to fish paste. Bye. It's all coming soon in our mini series, let me tell you, bye. Uh, crass. Oh. These made us a lovely dinner, bye. <laughs> Rolf Harris. Asian persuasion. Have a guess what, Lee? <laughs> I ate all my dinner. Well done. What? Well, that was going chicken, wasn't it? It wasn't, was it Taylor Spice one? No, Aldi. And let me tell half you. half the price of the Taylor Spice one. And it's really nice, Spice isn't it? Taylor even. <laughs> I tell you, really delicious. Andrew introduced us to Taylor Spice though, didn't she? Spice Taylor. And Scoville. Spice Taylor. Mm. That yes, was delicious. Mm. Thank you, darling. You're very welcome, darling. I need a wee now, bye. Bye. Lee? Yes? Are you bushcrafting? Apparently so. <laughs> I'm curling. <laughs> She's making some curls. I'll tell you what, I've been curling some out lately, and I, Lee? Oh, in my badly tied blue knot. <laughs> oh, my God, that was too deep. Yay! Said no one to me ever. <laughs> Most of the curls are going down through the gaps in the bench. It's getting late now, and Lee's still bushcrafting, aren't you, Lee? Yes. Have you got I'm the bushcraft? Have you got the bushcrafting um, bug now, Lee? <laughs> it's just quite therapeutic, actually. It is, isn't it? I'll be moaning tomorrow, going, "Oh, my chest is hurting. Oh, my thumbs are hurting." <laughs> we're making some um, micro kindling, aren't we? I don't know what we're making. I it was is. Just... <laughs> Trying to focus Shaving. that in. Mm -hmm. So we need to let this dry, and then this should spark um, light with a fire starter, with a ferro bird club thingy do da. Not a match. <laughs> no, we're not. You can't use matches. That's illegal. We're doing bushcraft, Lee. You don't take bushcraft. You don't have bushcraft um, matches. That's cheating. You've got to rub. I thought a bit of lighter rub fluid. Rub sticks together. <laughs> Indeed. Well, it is gay pride after all. Bye. <sighs> when you come up to the branchy things. Oh. Well, I think we're probably about time to end this vlog, Lee. <laughs> we? I think we must be at 20 minutes or half an hour. We can't <sighs> keep doing bloody hour ones. No. So, um, we've got a busy day tomorrow, haven't we? We're going for walkie walkies, get some leads, walkie start my car and loads of other nonsense. So, bye, love you. I hope you have a fabulous weekend, fabulous week. What do you say, Lee Lawson? <laughs> Dilly dilly, bye. <laughs> Have a good week. Sorry, just before we go, go. Lee's done a really good feather stick, hasn't she? Look at that. I reckon the bushcraft thing's going to be let's learn bushcraft with Paula Sir Woodnome and Lee the Lady Gnome, I reckon. <laughs> it's not going to be a solo affair. I'll be so happy not to have to just do it all on my own. <laughs> bye. Say bye, Lee. You're bye, pleased Lee. with yourself. You are pleased with yeah, yourself. I am. Aren't you? She says as she lops them all off by mistake. Hector's ratting, by the way, bye. <laughs>